So I took my drone out to a good football field area where there's a lot of space just in case that it might drift off and try to crash again. You know, last time I flew this thing, I don't know what the structure of it was underneath the ground that I was flying out, but it wouldn't fly straight and I don't know what was going on with it. But this time, I'm glad that everything worked okay. The DJI drone, it has a tendency to need calibration. You have to compass, calibrate the thing, turn it around three times horizontally and vertically. The drone is not a cheap investment. It costed me like, I think it was a thousand something I paid for it. And to have that not work after a few years would have been heartbreaking. But I'm glad I got it up in the air today. And here's some footage of what I captured. Wow. is back alive. Now, I charged my three batteries up to 100% before I flew it. These batteries are now currently at about 80% battery a piece. And that's still good. I could still fly a lot more with these batteries. The thing though is that my transmitter, this has been seeming to not fully charge to 100%. So when I push this, it says that it's halfway charged. So it's not gonna let me discharge all three batteries in flight with my transmitter. So I went to go and browsing the internet and noticed that there's other people that experience this problem too because with lithium ion batteries, when they're fully charged, and you don't discharge them after a while, they tend to degrade. So I think that's what happened with this transmitter. And someone made a video of them unscrewing this and actually going in there and taking some circuits out and using a heat gun to reset it so that it charges back to 100%. That seems like mission impossible to me. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take this apart and attempt that. I mean, I'm good at taking things apart, but putting them back together, that's another story. So maybe I'll just buy another transmitter for like 200 bucks. I think that's what these things run for. Maybe I'll just opt out and 
buy like a smaller drone, like a Mavic or something? I don't know. This thing, I'd have to sell it or something to do that, but that's one of my challenges right now. Just gotta recharge this to get like one or two good flight times out of a battery. And other than that, the drone's working at least. That's the good news. Anyways, thank you for watching my update with this DJI. I love this drone. I've had this for like two, three years. I've took it everywhere from Canada. You can find the card for that here. And you can see the whole drone over the waterfall area. And it's just amazing what this drone can do and how far technology has come with cameras. Cameras just can capture so many things. There's 360 cameras out now, drones, GoPros with built-in stabilization. It's an amazing time we're living in where we can film and capture what we see with our eyes. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching this video, if you learned anything, if you want to tune in, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!